So I'm going to talk you through how to make a coping box. This is the kind of resource that you have, things that make you feel good, things that you can do when you're not having the best day. You put them all in a box and they're there for you to have. You can do this through worksheets online or even just thinking about it. But the most fun way and it's great to do as an activity is to actually make a box. So you get your box and so I painted mine and I made it like look pretty because that's important so that when you're going to it you immediately feel your mood lift. So you're gonna need the box, you're gonna need stuff to decorate the box. You can go as simple or as creative as you like. I just use paints for mine um, but you could use glitter, pens, uh, pipe cleaners, pom-poms, feathers, whatever you have available to you it's and it's your box so make it look how you want it to and so you decorate your box and then what we're going to do is we're going to put stuff inside it so I'm going to put in a little notepad so that I can write down how I'm feeling and obviously with that I'll need some nice coloured pens then I'm going to put in a CD because I think when I'm not feeling so great, if I get up and, you know, dance and sing along to some music, it always makes me feel better. Then I'm going to go for a mug. This is my favourite mug and I also really like tea, so having a cup of tea always makes me feel better. Then I'm going to go for some more sensory things. So I've got a nice smelling candle, which is a great grounding object so that I can focus on that and just take a minute to myself and take some deep breaths. And I've got a nice bottle of perfume there so when I'm not feeling so great I can like you know put it on make myself feel better about myself and then go and do what I need to do so the idea with this is you then put everything in it and it's there ready for you so you need to choose somewhere that's easily accessible to keep your box you can do joint family ones which you could keep in a like family area like the kitchen or the living room or you can do personal ones which you can keep in your bedroom so I would put mine not in the middle of the floor, but just like on a shelf somewhere so that I can reach it whenever I need to. So then once you've got everything ready, if you're not having the best day, all you do is you go into your box and you pull something out. So I'd go and have a cup of tea now to make myself feel better. You can do this as often as you need to. You can keep pulling out things. And what's great about these is you can keep editing them. You can add to them, you can take things out, you can change things around. And something else that you can do is think about things that aren't physical. These are all physical things that I can put in my box. But actually, it can be great to write down, maybe do 10 star jumps so you can pull that piece of paper out, have photos of your friends, maybe write their phone numbers on the back if you like like connecting with people and that makes you feel better. They don't have to be physical things. So get as creative as you want. Really use some different sources try and go for some sensory things because they can be really helpful and calming you down and making you feel good use the five ways of well-being as well so write down ways to connect things that make you feel good um exercises that you could do ways to give to people all of those things are really really important and so the whole point of this is then all your coping techniques are right there in a box you don't have to think about them and put them into use you literally have them right there, which is really, really important. That, so that when you're having not such a great day or feeling a bit rubbish about things, you can go to your box and engage with those kind of things. You also can, in the joint box, have games that you like. You as a family could play together. It doesn't just need to be things for you personally. You can have, you know, joint ones, which are really, really important. So I think it's a great way to have all your coping techniques right there in the box, ready for you to use whenever you need to.